Hi friends, welcome back to our channel, Learning Literature Online. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe it. Today we are going to discuss a poem, Landscape of the Capi Baribé River by Jao Cabral de Meloneto. Cabral is a famous Brazilian poet from Pernambuco. He spent his early life in sugar plantations there in Pernambuco and later moved to Rio de Janeiro. He is master of evocative poetry. Pernambuco and Capi Baribe are points of reference in his poems. He served as a diplomat for his country and posted in four continents and Spain influenced more in shaping him. He has been identified with the generation of poet 45. It is a group of poets of post World War II period. There can be seen Traces of surrealism and cubism in his early poetry. His anti-lyrical tendencies are a clear sign of dismissive attitude towards romantic and sentimental. The poem Capi, Landscape of the Capi Baribé River is a social commentary. It is a consciousness rising poem where the poet is trying to raise awareness and consciousness among people towards what is the relevance of a river and what harms are being done towards it and what is the need to save it. Central image for the river is a dog. It is nearer to his work dog without feathers. The poem presents landscape and waterscape polluted by waste, poverty and environmental degradation. Once Rivers were mirrors of human culture and cradle of civilization as on the banks of river civilizations were developed and thrived and cultures were formed. But now it carries burdens of human crime and deeds of destruction. The poem is built on series of absence and presence. Air pollution, soil pollution, water pollution and sound pollutions are different kinds of pollutions done towards this nature, especially rivers. Rivers are the bone of this environment and nature. Once the rivers were pregnant with varieties of biological diversity but now it lacks of those diversities. Capi Barry Bear River's case is also is of no exception. Capral cries about the environmental pollution in the river. The river is now slowly dying for the want of cleanliness and fresh flow of water as it is suffocating out of kinds of pollution done towards it now on the verge of death. Once river was home for Varieties of fish, 
tortoise, octopus and other water creatures. But now it is done and is gone. Landscape of the Capybari Barrio The first stanza The city is crossed by the river as a street is crossed by a dog. A piece of fruit is by a sword. Here poet is comparing a river which is crossing a street to a dog who is crossing the street or to a piece of fruit which is being crossed by a sword. The river he is, here is so insignificant. It is being compared to crossing of a dog. The river called to mind a dog's docile tongue or dog's sad belly or that other river which is the dirty wet cloth of a dog's two eyes. River, the present condition of river brings into the mind of poet a dog's docile tongue. He is comparing to the dog's submissive tongue, a tongue that, that can be easily controlled, or a dog's sad belly that is easily slowly moving, or that other river who is comparing the river is bringing to his mind other river which is now only a dirty wet cloth. No enough water is there. Dirty wet cloth. Or the poet's mind it is bringing of a dog's two eyes that is wet with water. The river was like a dog without feathers. It's it knew nothing of the blue rain, of the rose-colored fountain, of the water in a water glass, of the water in pitches, of the fish in the water, of the breeze on the water. Here the poet is making a series of absence and presence. What was there and what is now there. The river was beautiful once. Like a dog without feathers. It is one of his work. It not knew nothing of the blue rain at present. The river knew nothing of the beautiful blue rain or nothing of the rose colored fountain. Of the water in a water glass. Water in a water glass is crystal clear and pristine. Now it is dirty. It knew nothing of the water in a water glass or of the water in pitches. In earlier period, people were coming to fetch water in water pitches towards the bank of river. Now the river knew nothing of the water in water pit, in pitches. It is not, not used to see pitches or knew nothing of the fish in the water. Varieties of fish once was there had gone and it is not there at present of the breeze on the water. The river is not experiencing the feeling of breeze on the water. It knew the crabs of mud and rust. Now only crabs are there. Only mud, are, mud is there and rust is there. It knew silt, sand is there at present. Like a mucous membrane, layered physical body 
sand is there it must have known the octopus once the river was placed for varieties of creatures like octopus it must have known once but now it is not there and surely knew the feverish feverish woman living in oysters it must have known strong woman living in oysters the river never opens up to fish to the shimmer to the naively unrest existing in fish it never opens up in fish once the river was clear fish was seen now it is not there shining of the fish was there shimmer was there now it is not there to the naively unrest sharp movement of the fish was there existing in fish but it is not there it never opens up in fish now even the fish cannot be seen as the water in the river is polluted it opens up in flavors poor and black like black men and women it opens up into a flora as squalid and beggarly as the blacks who must beg it opens up in hard leaf to mangroves kinky as a black man's hair the plants vegetable on the banks of river at present is poor and black it is irrelevant no beautiful plants sure vegetables can be seen on the bank of the river it is poor and black like black men and women they are being subjugated it opens up into a flora as squalid and beggarly it opens up into a flora as dirty and beggarly as the blacks who must beg it opens up in hard leaf mangroves the mangroves leaves are not soft the plants trees on the bank of river had become hard leaf to kingi it is curly and hard hindering the movement of the river as a black man's hair it is curly and kingy so it is a hindrance to the movement of the river it is stopping the movement of the river smooth like the belly of the pregnant dog the river swells without ever bursting the river's child birth is like a dog's fluid and invertebrate smooth like the belly of the pregnant woman pregnant dog sorry it is getting widened and it is soft smooth like belly of pregnant dog somewhere the river gets widened the river swells but it is without ever bursting but it is not overflowing somewhere in the river there is swell wide it is being widened but it is never overflowing or bursting the river's birth or origin of the river is being compared to birth of a dog fluid and invertebrate boneless body that can easily be bent and i never saw it seed as bread when rising seeds in silence the river bears its blotting poverty pregnant with black earth poet in his life never see, saw the river making seething sound as it is strong with flowing the sound seething can be seen when bread is being 
closed it. In silence, it is now silent. The river is now silent. The river bears its bloating poverty. In silence, it brings forth its poverty. It lacks varieties of creatures in it. Varieties of plants on the banks of river. And its purity, it has lost. its pristine nature it has closed it is now pregnant with the black earth only black earth is there it yields in silence in black earth and caves in black earth and woods or glues for the foot or hand that plunges in in silence it yields to the black earth and caves in black earth and boots or glues these boots or glues make a sign on the river so it is meager water in it the sign of foot or hand that plunges in can be seen in the river so it yield in silence it is making no sound as sometimes happens with dogs the river seemed to stagnate its waters would turn thicker and warmer flowing with the thick warm waves of a snake see sometimes in our life we can see dogs coming fast and suddenly they stops and their movement becomes stagnant likewise the flow of river is same sometimes it move fast but suddenly it seemed to stagnate its flow become slow its waters would turn thicker and warmer its waters become thicker with pollutions and warmer flowing slowly flowing with the thick warm waves of a snake then its movement becomes crooked or curly like a movement of a snake it had something of a crazy man's stagnation something of the stagnation of hospitals prisons asylums of the dirty and smothered life that is smothering laundry it treads through the stagnation of this river had something to say of a crazy man's stagnation it is being polluted out of the stagnation of hospitals prisons and asylums it is being related the river stagnation is being related related to the stagnation of hospitals prisons and asylums of the dirty and smothered life suffocated life that is smothering laundry suffocating laundry it had something to speak of this smothered smothering laundry it threads through see out of all this stagnation the river is trudging through something of the stagnation of decayed places it had to say something of the stagnation of decayed places eaten by mold and mistletoe see places eaten by mold and mistletoe something of the stagnation of obese trees dripping a thousand sugars from the pen Pernambuco dining rooms it trudges through the poet is saying that the stagnation of river had something of the stagnation of decayed places see here pro- poet is trying to bring out here in this stanza and the previous stanza see the stagnation the pollution done towards this river out of fact uh, pollution from factories something of the stagnation of obese trees dripping a thousand sugars 
from the Pernambuco dining rooms it trudges through. On the Pernambuco, there are several sugar plantations. Factories are there. Out of the pollutions from these factories, the river get polluted. It is there, with their backs to the river, that the city's cultured families brood over the fat eggs of their pros in the complete piece of their kitchens, they viciously steer their pots of sticky intolerance. Here, poet brings out the indifferent attitude of cultured family towards the condition of river. They are turning their backs to their to the river. They are turning their backs to the river that the city's cultured families brood over the fat eggs of their pros. They are thinking of the fat eggs of their pros. They are not ready to wait for natural hatch. In the complete piece of their kitchen, they viciously steer their pots of a sticky indolence. Indolence means indifference, laziness. They viciously they terribly steer their pots of sticky intolerance. Could the river's water be fruit of some tree? Why did it seem like ripened water? Why the flies always above it as it about to land? Here poet is asking a series of questions on the future of the river. Could the river's water be fruit of some trees in future? And the poet is asking question on the condition of river. Why did it seem like ripened water? Why did the, it, the, river, the water in the river seem like a ripened water? Why did the flies always above it? Insects, flies are always above the river as it is about to land but is not ready to land. It is always above it. Did any part of the river ever cascade into it? Was it ever anywhere a song or fountain? Why then were its eyes painted blue on maps? In any part of the world, in any part of the river, ever the river enjoy in cascade? ever cascade in joy, ever it is been thrilled. Was it ever anywhere a song or fountain? Was the river ever anywhere in the world a song or fountain? See, as the rivers are being depicted in several poetry as romantic, was it ever anywhere a song or fountain? Why then? Were its eyes painted blue on maps? If so, if it is so polluted, why it is being? It is not blue actually. Then why it is? Its eyes were painted blue on the maps. The poem, Consciousness Rising Poem is. So, he effectively uses to rise consci consciousness analogies. He brings comparisons. Absence and presence. What is there and what was there and what is not there. He brings images also to rise consciousness. Social fabric is incorporated into this poem. And finally the poem ends with a series of questions. Thank you.